My name is Don Adler. I've been a physician for 42 years practicing reproductive medicine and I've been sculpting for 20 years. The type of surgery and the type of work I did was very creative and improvisational, so that helps me in my carving of stone and designing of the pieces that I do. In the creation of a sculpted piece, I start with the choosing of the stone. I try to get a stone that is of good quality and no hidden cracks or defects or soft spots. Then I look for shape and finally I look for color. From that, I start to cut away areas to take the advantage of the intrinsic shape of the stone. My main concept is abstraction and use of colors in the stone. Only three times in 20 years have I had a preconceived idea or design. Most of the time I let the stone talk to me and tell me where I need to go and how I need to change it. It's a evolving type of work, not just a fixed copy of a design. For my current sculpture, I am going to make an opening in the center and draw the lines of curvature and design into this opening, creating negative space and have something of more interest than just a solid piece of stone. This particular aspect of art is four-dimensional rather than three. Most people think of painting as two-dimensional, but sculpting, since you can see all sides of it, I would refer to it as four-dimensional art. And I'm now going to do more design in the form of shapes and curves. There's definitely a a number of different physical aspects to sculpting. Visual, touch, and the development from a rough piece of stone to a finely polished, beautifully shaped object by the time you're through. Right now I'm, I'm working on a piece of travertine marble which is uh, a fairly soft marble, but does not polish to a high glossy finish. The nature of travertine stone it has a lot of little holes in it. And so I'm designing something that will take advantage of this rougher surface by using a lot of curves and negative space. I use various tools to modify and delineate more details in the design and create more of a fine finish.
Once I reach a point where I'm satisfied with the lines and nature of the stone, I then move on to hand sanding. I smooth out the surface until there is a flow of lines. And when I touch and feel the stone, I find that it has a smooth nature and a very almost erotic feel to the design. I work with continuing change and modification. Oftentimes I will go back and change my design or add new lines or surfaces in order to enhance the ultimate design. While a piece may look very beautiful and shapely, it's a lot harder than it looks to do this kind of work. It's very time consuming and you have to have a lot of patience to develop your design. This particular piece will take me about two months, which is fairly short. Polishing is designed to bring out the colors and deep nature of the stone itself. Once the piece is completed, I use wet polishing and wet sanding. The advantage of doing it wet is that the sand and powder created by the carving is not obstructing the ability for the shape to be formed. My main enjoyment is the developing of a design and then seeing how it turns out in the end. Starting from the beginning with a amorphous piece of stone, and seeing it change ultimately gives me a lot of pleasure. I feel a great feeling of accomplishment considering that the potential for this stone was minimal because of the nature of all the holes and openings in the stone and the flat color. And I had to work very hard to bring out these qualities. It turned out to be a really wonderful piece.